Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well today. I know I'm in my car, it's dark, but I have some time. And so I want to make this message. I want to make this video and give this message because I believe that um, this will bless somebody, right? Um, you ever, when you read the Bible, right? <laughs> you ever notice that like when Jesus was around his disciples, his followers or his friends, you ever notice how when they're having a panic attack, He's always so chill, you know, unbothered, if you may. <laughs> and um, so the story of when Jesus was in the boat, right? You know, the storm is in Matthew 8, verses 23. I don't have my Bible with me. Um, but there was a storm, right? And, you know, Jesus was just sleeping. Like, who sleeps through a storm? Who sleeps through a storm? okay that bro was just chilling and bro was sleeping okay um probably in his REM sleep cycle at that point you know like and so his disciples went down and be like oh my gosh wake up we're gonna drown and you know when i read the bible i really try to put myself there and i can just imagine just jesus being like all frazzled frazzled because they woke him up not frazzled by the storm but just like you know out of it that they you know that they woke him up right and then you know he calmed the storm and they're like oh my gosh who is this man even the winds and the waves listen to him and jesus is like you have little faith where's your faith mind you these are the same followers that witness him healing people and doing all these different miracles right and um you know we can talk about the story of lazarus when jesus took his sweet time to get there um peter while peter was walking in the water you know it says that once he saw the wind he doubted and he was afraid and then he began to sink right and that's when jesus uh, then he began to drown and then that's when jesus saved him right and you know jesus was like you have little faith why did he doubt why did you doubt right you know and it just goes to show you that when we are in a season when we are going through a time a situation where we're in panic mode we're like freaking out jesus is chill he is unbothered and unworried <laughs> he's not worried at all you know and when you think of the story of him being in the boat with his disciples it's almost like he was saying why why did you thought you were gonna drown why did you thought the storm was going to drown you Am I not with you, literally? Am I not with you? And sometimes the disciples annoy me. I'm not going to lie to you because they had Jesus in the flesh. You know, we don't have Jesus in the flesh. We have him in the spirit. And, you know, sometimes that's hard. But they saw he was there and they had a difficult time. Okay. And it's almost like Jesus is like, you, you, you have little faith. I'm in the boat. I'm in the boat with you. Why you think the storm was gonna kill us? Kill me? <laughs> kill you? Think it was going to hurt you, sir? I'm right with you. I'm, I'm here. I'm there with you. You know, just like the Hebrew boys, you know, another in the fire type of thing. You know, fourth man in the fire. I'm there with you. The fire ain't gonna kill you. The lion ain't gonna kill you. The storm isn't going to kill you. Why do you doubt? Why do you have such little faith? I'm with you in it. You're not going through the storm alone. I am there with you. And sometimes you may be thinking, well, it looks like you're sleeping. <laughs> it looks like you're on vacation. It looks like you've passed out you know because here's the storm that feels like it's going to overtake me it feels like it's going to drown me it feels like it's coming for me and i'm not seeing you doing anything <laughs> you know and i could see i could totally empathize with the the, the disciples because they're like hold up no i know you're here but you're you're not doing anything <laughs> you're not moving <laughs> you're sleeping okay and sometimes you might feel like that's how god is in our life 
where we know he's there and we know he's present because we have the Holy Spirit living within us, but it feels like he's not making a move. He feel, it feels like he's sleeping, if you may, right? And Jesus is saying, that storm is not going to overtake you simply because I am there with you. And the storm, the wind and the waves listens to me, okay? When I speak, things have to back up, you know? And just like when Peter was walking on water, you know, as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was he was all set. It's once it says once the wind came, once he once he saw the wind, he doubted and he was afraid. Then he began to sink. You know, sometimes it's when the winds of life come towards us. It's when the the it's when what we're what we're seeing on the outside doesn't look like what he showed us on the inside type of thing it's when the the trials of life comes towards us it's it's you know the wind represents um just these difficult seasons these challenges that may arise you know in our lives and so when the winds come you know we doubt just like peter did he doubted and because he took his eyes off off Jesus he started to sink and you know clearly he was saved but it's when it's when these these things come our way that we start to have these fears or we start to have these doubts and you know we start to question certain things and God even God even Jesus said to Peter you of little faith why did you doubt you you of little faith why did you doubt like why are you doubting me why are you doubting that I'm I can take care of you. Why are you doubting that I'm going to do what I said I, I'm going to do? Why are you doubting? Just keep your eyes focused on me and watch how you're able to walk on water. Watch how you're able to walk under your circumstance. Watch how you're able to, to stay above what's, what's sent and what's meant to drown you. If you can just keep your eyes on me, you're able to be on top. If you, if you may, you're able to elevate once you stay focused, you know, and Jesus is saying, ye of little faith, don't doubt, don't doubt me, don't doubt me, okay? I can totally keep going. <laughs> you need to understand that God is unbothered by your situation, not because he's inconsiderate and not because he's insensitive, insensitive it's not because he, he doesn't care but he simply knows that it's not going to overtake you it's not going to destroy you you're not going to drown even though you might feel like you're drowning okay um simply because he's there he's there with you okay so i pray that um you will continue with your faith you will continue to trust you will continue to stand on the things that he has said to you despite what the situation might look like trust and believe that he's not going to let anything destroy you simply because he's present all right guys thank you so much for um watching don't forget um to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos talk to you soon take care guys